If your store looks like every other generic e-commerce site, it's game over before you even get a click. But don't worry, we're going to fix that. In this video, we'll make sure your store stands out by creating a strong, consistent look for your brand. Logos, banners, social media posts, and more using nothing but Canva. Strong visuals make people stop scrolling, click on your products, and remember your brand name. For example, the sportswear brand Gymshark uses bold lettering and a simple logo, instantly recognizable whether it's printed, embroidered, or featured on a poster. And if you are a solo entrepreneur or just getting started, Canva is your secret weapon. It's free, intuitive, and packed with tools to bring your brand to life. No pro design skills needed. Before we start, make sure you've gone through a quick checklist. Choose a color palette, pick your logo typeface, and define your brand tone or personality. These steps will help you make better design decisions along the way. In this video, we'll create our designs using a free Canva account. The free version gives you access to many great features, but it has some limitations. With Canva Pro, you can download your designs with a transparent background, resize them for different platforms, and use the brand kit feature to save your logo, colors, and fonts. If you're committed to building a strong brand, I recommend Canva Pro. I have my own personal account, which I pay for myself. It's $15 per month or $120 per year, which is actually cheaper than a standard Netflix subscription these days. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to launch or refresh your print-on-demand brand, visually aligned and totally professional. A forgettable logo doesn't just make your site look amateur, it makes customers forget you entirely. If your business doesn't have a logo yet, what are you doing? Canva makes it easy to create one using dozens of templates. Let me show you how I designed one for my online store, Feel Good Shop. Head over to canva.com and sign in or create an account if you haven't already. Click create and search for a logo in the search bar. You'll see a variety of templates. I'll go with the first option, which opens a 500 by 500 pixel canvas. On the left-hand side, you'll find a list of templates to browse and customize to fit your brand. If you're not sure what style fits your brand yet, think about how you want customers to feel. Is it calm, excited, bold? playful, then look for fonts, colors, and images that match that mood. Since my feel-good shop is a calming, groovy apparel store, I'm looking for rounded fonts, soft colors, and icons that convey positivity. Let's search for sun or sunny and pick a template that fits the vibe. Once you've chosen a template, it's fully customizable. You can change the font to reflect your own brand voice, whether that's playful, elegant, or bold. Click any element to edit it. I'm replacing this text with my brand name, Feel Good Shop, and then I'll modify the text layer, delete the slogan since I don't need it, and move the main text to the center of the design. Next, I'll replace the sun icon that came with the template. To add an icon, search in Canvas Elements tab. I'll look for a palm tree and pick a design I like. This palm tree adds personality without being too busy. It's also a solid shape perfect for prints, labels, and even embroidery. These details are important to consider when designing your logo. For colors, I'm using golden yellow for the palm tree icon, coral pink for the background to create a calm and cheerful mood, and white for the text to ensure strong contrast. Once you're happy with your logo, it's time to download it in a few different formats. Click File, Download. The default option is PNG, which is perfect for web use and keeps your design looking sharp. If you're using Canva Pro, you can also choose SVG. This format is scalable, meaning your logo will stay crisp no matter how big or small it is. Now that your main logo is ready, let's move on to other important designs that will help your brand look consistent everywhere. Your main logo is just the start. To make your brand look consistent everywhere, you'll need a few more design versions to work well across different platforms. In this chapter, we'll create three must-have visuals, a logo variation, a website banner, and a favicon. A circular version is perfect for printed materials like stickers or for including on packing slips and invoices. It's also commonly used for profile photos on social media or online marketplaces. From the Canva homepage, start by duplicating your original logo file. We'll use this new file to adapt the layout into a circular format. First, remove the coral pink background and replace it with a circular shape. Go to Elements, filter by circle, and choose a solid circular shape. 
Before switching the golden yellow to coral pink, let's add both of these to your color palette in Canva. This makes your brand colors easy to access in future designs. To do this, type each hex code, those are six digit codes that represent each color, into the custom color field in your brand settings. Click save after entering each color. Now resize the circle to fill the background and then send it behind the logo elements by right clicking, selecting layer, and then send to back. When you're done, export the design as a PNG by clicking file, download. If you're using Canva Pro, check the transparent background box to download it without a background. Since we're using the free version of Canva, we'll download the circular logo with a white background instead. Now let's create your favicon. A favicon is the tiny icon that appears in the browser tab next to your website title. It helps users quickly recognize your site and adds a professional touch. Avoid using text in your favicon, it'll be too small to read. Instead, use a simplified version of your logo, ideally just the icon. Since we're using the free version of Canva, we don't have access to the resize tool. So instead, I'll create a new custom size design. Canva requires a minimum size of 40 pixels, so we'll go with 40 by 40 pixels. After some research, I found that using a transparent logo is recommended for favicons, so I won't be adding a background. Favicons with solid backgrounds can appear dated or visually distracting. I'll add the palm tree from my Feel Good Shop logo and change its color to coral pink. When you're done, click File, Download to export the design as a PNG. If you're using Canva Pro, check the transparent background box so it saves without a background. Since we're using the free version, I'll download the favicon with a white background instead. Your website banner is prime real estate. Treat it like a billboard or a welcome sign, not an afterthought. It's often the first thing visitors see when they land on your site, so you want it to be eye-catching and match your brand style. Based on the Shopify theme I'm using, the best banner size is between 1200 and 2000 pixels wide and 400 to 600 pixels tall. The taller your banner, the more space it will take up on the screen. For this demo, I'll create a 1200 by 600 pixel version. I'm placing this banner at the top of my homepage to promote a new product collection. This space is often called the hero section in e-commerce. First, I'll set the background to my brand's golden yellow color. Then I'll upload a product mockup, a hoodie I designed using Printful. What's great about Printful is that you can create as many products as you want and download mockups with a transparent background. Use them in your store designs to keep everything on brand. Next, I'll use the text tool to add a header text. Hot new arrivals just landed. I'm using the Century Gothic font and placing the text in the center. For the color, I'll take advantage of Canvas Photo Colors feature, which shows the colors used in your design. I'll choose a dark purple. It contrasts well with the yellow background and keeps the text readable. To finish it off, I'll add the palm tree icon from my logo in the upper left corner to reinforce branding. I'll use the dark purple from the photo colors again. Now, I've already spent some time testing different color options for this video. That's how I know which ones work well for my designs. I recommend you do the same. Try out different color combinations until you find something that feels right. You can use the photo colors feature in Canva to grab tones that match your images or clip art. I also used a website called Coolers to quickly create a color palette that fits my brand vibe and have it ready before designing in Canva. For banners, keep your background and message simple and use just a few impactful words to make your banner clear and effective. When you're done, export your banner as JPEG. JPEG files are perfect for websites because they keep image quality high while loading quickly, which is important for creating a smooth shopping experience. In addition to designing your website, you'll also want matching visuals for email marketing campaigns. Staying visually consistent across platforms helps reinforce your brand. Email marketing is one of the most effective ways to connect with your customers, and bad visuals in email don't just get ignored, they tank your open and click the rights. Your emails should look as professional and polished as your store. To give you a clear example of what designs you might need, I use Klaviyo to build a sample email campaign. You can also use tools like OmniSend or MailChimp. In this email template, I identified three key visuals to design. A header banner, a product photo, and a promotional graphic in the middle of the email. The header banner size is 800 by 200 pixels. It features an old version of my logo, so I'll update it. 
Let's see, so the product image is 500 by 480 pixels and the promotional image is 600 by 400 pixels. Now that I know the sizes, I can create them in Canva. To create a new email banner, go to Canva and click Create a Design, Custom Size, then enter 800 by 200 pixels. This version will feature my logo with inverted colors. I'll start with a golden yellow background, then go to Elements and add the palm tree from my logo in coral pink. Next, I'll add the brand name Feel Good Shop by clicking Text, Add a Text Box. I'll make the text uppercase and change the font to Open Sans so it matches the rest of my email. Then I'll set the color to white and increase the spacing between the letters to make it easier to read. I'll also add a drop shadow to the text by going to Effect, Shadow. That's it. Now export the banner as a JPEG. Just like your website banner, JPEG files are a great choice for email because they load faster. Now let's create the product image for the campaign. The dimensions are 500 by 480 pixels. From the Canva homepage, go to Create a Design, Custom Size, then enter those dimensions. For the background, I'll use golden yellow, which contrasts well with the coral pink section of the email. Then I'll upload a mock-up of the same hoodie I used in the website banner. I'll center it in the design. To make the visual more dynamic, I'll add a city background. Go to Elements, search for Downtown, and Filter by Photos. I'll pick an image and stretch it to cover the entire canvas. Then I'll click Position to Back to move it behind the product. To blend it with the yellow background, I'll adjust the transparency to 25% and export this whole design as a JPEG. This new product visual made with a printful mockup looks great and I can't wait to see it in action. Lastly, let's make a quick promotional graphic. This will highlight a limited time free shipping offer. From Canvas homepage, create a new design at 600 by 400 pixels. Set the background to gold and yellow. Then go to text, add a text box and type enjoy free shipping. Change the font to Helvetica, increase the size and center it at the top. Duplicate the text by clicking duplicate and type offer expires June 26th. To make the graphic even more eye-catching, go to elements, search for a package emoji under graphics and place it beside the text. Okay, this is definitely a striking image. Customers won't miss the free shipping offer. Export this graphic as a JPEG, just like the previous email designs. And that's it. Three new visuals ready for your next email campaign. They're the right size, the right format, and most importantly, totally on brand. Now let's move on to the final essential set of brand visuals, social media posts. You can create tons of different social media designs in Canva, but I recommend starting with Facebook and Instagram posts since they're two of the biggest social media platforms in the US. The idea is to set up a reusable layout now, so in the future, you can quickly update it with new designs and announcements. Let's start with a Facebook post template. This type of design is great for posting product updates or sale announcements on your brand's Facebook page. In this video, I'll just create a simple product announcement. From the Canva homepage, click Social Media to view all the platform-specific templates. Select Facebook Post, Landscape. This template uses the correct dimensions of 940 by 788 pixels. I'll begin by setting the background color to coral pink. I'm promoting a new button-down shirt in my store, so I'll upload a product mockup. Go to Uploads, bring in the mockup from your computer, and click it to add to your design. To make the product pop from the background, I'll insert a shape layer behind it. Go to Elements, look for a circle under Shapes, and place it behind the shirt. Use Position, Arrange, Backward to send the circle behind the mockup. I'll change the circle's color to a bright blue, which adds a nice contrast to the coral pink background and ties in with my brand colors. Now for the text. I'll go to Text, add a text box, and type Fresh Drop. I'll switch the font to Helvetica, change the text color to my brand's dark shade, and place it in the upper left corner. Next, I'll duplicate that layer and update the new one to say the button up for everyone. 
I'll make this text white for contrast and reposition it just below the headline. Finally, I'll duplicate the text layer one more time and use it to display the product price. It's really coming together, and honestly, it's a design that could work well as an ad too. As a final touch, I'll add the palm tree icon from my logo in the bottom left corner. You can find it by searching palm tree under elements. Beautiful, this one's ready to publish. Each social media platform has its own image size, so we'll need to adapt our Facebook design for Instagram. If you're using Canva Pro, you can use the resize tool and select Instagram post four by five here. But if you're on the free version of Canva, here's how to do it manually. First, open the Facebook post you just created in one tab, then go back to the Canva homepage in a separate tab. Click social media, then select Instagram post, which has the dimensions of 1080 by 1350 pixels. Set the background color to coral pink again. Now go back to your Facebook post, copy the elements you want and paste them into your Instagram design. From here, just rearrange the elements to fit the vertical layout a bit better. And that's it. We've got a polished Instagram post that's ready to share with your audience. That took a little time, but it was totally worth it. Now my brand looks legit and that confidence carries through every product I launch. What's great is that all these Canva templates are saved so I can reuse and tweak them whenever I need to create new designs. Now it's your turn. Go start creating your own designs and make your brand stand out. If you want more tips like this, Printful's YouTube channel is packed with tutorials. Click here to watch more or follow the link below to start designing your products. And as always, happy selling.